Hey friends, I'm so glad you're here, and it's not just because we're playing another horror game. It's because I'm debuting a brand new hat. It's my cat dad hat that Mrs. Gaming got me, and I absolutely love it. Got it for Christmas, so I'm surprised it's uh, taken this long to debut it. But I think I'm up to three cat hats now, which is a pretty decent number, but we gotta get that number up. That is, uh, that's not enough. Anyways, like I was saying before, we are playing a brand new horror game called You Are Liam. And this is a game that's been on my radar for quite some time. Uh, I couldn't really find a place to do it on the stream. So I'm like, let's play it together. I know this game has some surrealist elements to it, but other than that, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what the plot is. I'm not sure what we can expect in terms of, are there gonna be jump scares? Is it going to be more of an atmospheric horror game? I have no idea. So we're going in this one blind. I can't wait to experience it with you. And again, thank you so much for being here. And here is you are Liam. Hi, Liam. Hello, gamer. Wait, am I Liam? It's so nice to have you here. Is that me or is that you? Hmm. I've been waiting to have a personal chat with you for a while now. Okay. I feel you have some things you want to get off your chest. Do I? Hmm. That's why I'm here. Well, if you're willing to listen, I, I I guess I have a few things I'd like to talk about. So Liam, want to talk? Should we say yes? Uh, you can't see it, but behind me it says, let me see if I can, it says no. Uh, yeah, let's talk, let's chat. We'll have a little quick chat. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for that. You're not Liam. Well, that's, you got me there. I hope that little jump scare at the, at the, you know, at the beginning is an indicative of kind of what we can expect. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't like the fact that we blink. That's the gamer that we were talking to earlier. Yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan of the blinking. Okay, got a couple, oh, got a couple outlets. Here's the Redditor. And the door's gone. Can I run? No jumping, nope, nope. All right, there he is again, and now we have a shelf. And apparently we're looking for Liam, so, uh, you know, automatically, anytime there's like a repeating hallway, you think, okay, PT. And a ton of indie games are gonna be influenced by PT. That's just how it is. Oh, now we have a key. And now we don't have a door. So you're not Liam, and I'm not Liam. So where is Liam? Because I thought we were Liam. Because that's what the title of the game said. Okay. Now we're in some sort of a strange room. Uh, well, definitely no ray tracing here. Have we met before? I don't think so. Hmm. It's 1240. Uh, oh! That actually kind of freaked me out. Okay, even though that was a little cheesy. I'm guessing that's Liam. I don't know though, because we're supposed to be Liam. And why do you want to chat with us so bad, mi mystery gamer? Hmm. Or is this the guy we just saw? Because, like, they have similar eyes. Door's locked. Okay. This is definitely going to be... Repeating hallway of the game. Which is okay. Ooh. It, it, like, it looks corny, but it's still unsettling. I'll admit. I'll admit it's unsettling. And I think the repeating hallway does kind of lend itself to 
creating a tense environment because every time you turn a corner, you don't know what to expect. So if used properly, the whole repeating hallway thing, I, I do think can be more than a gimmick. It really sets the atmospheric precedent for the rest of the horror game. Okay. What was that? I thought I heard something. Okay. Now, I don't think we're supposed to go back up the steps. Okay, here we go. A switch. I'm wondering if the blinking mechanic is kind of a... Like, a faint rather than an actual mechanic. Kind of similar how uh, the closets were in Elevated Dread, which we played recently. But I'm not sure. All right, if we don't, if nothing changes again, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, head up the steps here. Yeah, I'm gonna head up the steps. Okay, never mind. And that doesn't work. Hmm. I wonder what that switch actually did. Let's try going the other way. Oh. Now we're talking. And we got a flashlight. Okay, but it's still, it's so dark. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, you gamer. Hello, gamer. Remember when we were playing Hello Neighbor on stream? Hello Neighbor 2. Which, not a big fan of. Oh, Pumpkin's here. Real quick, you guys want to see Pumpkin? Oh, she's knocking the microphone. Hi, Pumpkin. All right, she's going to go ahead and take a nap here. While we try to find Liam. I think we found him a couple times, but I'm not sure. Eat the food. Notes telling us, eat the food. Pretty simple. Okay. Pumpkin? <laughs> Jesus, pumpkin. Oh. Okay. So one way to instantly make a game scarier. Just put you in the dark. Oh, hey, wait a minute. You were the gamer from before. Yeah, but when we were playing Hello Neighbor 2, um, is that Liam or was the other guy Liam? This is just, I don't know why this just, it feels silly to me. It's like random scary faces are just supposed to be silly. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Okay. Ah, fuck! Is that what we're doing now? We just screaming at me? Go ahead, scream at me. Oh. So this is just jump scares. That's what we're doing. Is that what we're doing? Huh? Is that what we want to do? Just jump scares? Oh. Did I lose? Did I like lose the game and I and I'm restarting? I'm not sure.
Okay, yeah, that you don't want to get caught by him. Okay. 1246. So the time is going up, but it seems. Ugh. Okay. I need to not panic when that happens again. Good lord. Go ahead, scare me. I'm impervious. So if Leon, Leon, if I was just playing Resident 4. If Liam comes after us, we gotta book it the other direction. Do we get a key here? No? Door's locked. We need a key. So was the first run, like, a situation where you were supposed to lose? Okay. Yeah, we met. Okay, now it's 1248. Whew. Okay. So if we see, we just got to be quick on the draw. Just got to be quick on the draw. If we see or hear something, run the other way. Yep. Door's locked. Okay. Liam. I still don't know which one is Liam. There's two gamers. Oh. I can't find him. What? Well, I was just figuring it out. I feel like I almost had him. The password? <sighs> Gamer? No. Is that it? No. What do you mean password? I don't... Oh, is there a piece of paper? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's supposed to spell Liam is dead. Okay. Well, if he's dead, then of course we can't find him. We've been on a wild goose chase. Um, let's go ahead. I don't have caps lock on, right? Oh, I did have caps lock on. That's why. Okay. So yeah, if he's dead. Ooh. Are you the... Hey! Oh, he killed Liam. So that... Oh, okay. Don't be rude to me. I'm running from you. So he did kill Liam. He wanted to talk to me. He said I'm not Liam. But he killed Liam. Okay, you know what? I'm not turning around. So I'm coming. Look how quick on the draw I am. Oh. I'm too quick for him. Okay. Wait. Is that me? I'm Liam. Uh, okay, well, so I have to, it is a scary game in the sense that, yes, it has jump scares that are very brutal, 
Um, regarding the rest of the experience, I don't know. It, 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 I still don't understand like the, really the story they were trying to tell. Not that I don't get it. I just feel like it was almost kind of on the nose and, and silly. And maybe that was the intention, but, um, I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> uh, I thought it was fun. Definitely got me a few times because um, I'm I'm very susceptible to jump scares. You guys know this if you've been watching the streams. So yeah, that was you are Liam. If you want to check it out, it's free on itch.io. Uh, thanks for spending another great time with me playing a horror game, and I'll see you in the next one.